Warning, you have entered the danger zone. Snowflakes, beware. For the next three hours, your asses belong to Metal Bully and the Roach. Uncensored talk and the best metal music. If you can't handle it, you must be gay. 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 What's happening, people? Metal, Bully, and the Roach, we have returned. Returned. Yes, we are. Yes, we have returned. Hope everybody had a good week. Um, got some great stuff going on this show tonight. Got uh, <laughs> We got Uncle Louis Simone. Uncle Louis. Making an yeah. appearance today. Absolutely. He's going to be uh, giving us a little spoken word. One of his projects this uh man spread man thing spread. that he's got yeah this band you know the band he's oh trying, yeah and he's fucking thinks he's a metal head now all of a sudden <laughs> anyway uh speaking of uncles i am a proud uncle of a uh, little girl a little baby niece her little name niece. is mia congratulations brother thank you thank you thank you so i'm a proud uncle and, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Roach had a uh, little bit of uh, problems with his mouth. Mm-hmm. Then again, he always has problems with his mouth. With the mouth. Right, Roach? Yep. Yeah. This shit happens. Yeah, we know what happened with you, pal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much cock. Yeah, you wish. Too much cock. We know. You wish. Come on, pal. You and it's your, all right. You and your starfish. It's all right. It's all right, buddy. It's okay to be that way. That puckered starfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go already. Oh, how quickly we degenerate. How quickly we degenerate on this show. Unbelievable. We got nobody in the chat. Where are you, motherfuckers? We got Yogi and Guest and, of course, Robin, who can do no wrong in my eyes. No, nope, not whatsoever. Robin. Uh, everybody else, where are you? Where you at? Where you at, people? Shit. What's there, a fucking sale at Sears? What, are you giving away fucking uh, free bowls of soup? With, uh... Ain't no hurricanes Electronics right today? I don't know. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, we're back. We're back. We're ready to rock your fucking socks off. And, uh, let's, let's give them some music, Roach. Yeah, hang on a minute, up? you're a tough guy. This is ID. Uncle Louis yeah. Simone. Oh, wait a second. You know what? You're listening let, me, to let me, you know, the last band you guys heard was Human Entity, a good friend of ours, uh, Rick Mathiason from Texas, and thankfully he's safe after the crazy flooding over there. My stepfather, thank God he's safe. James Rivera, safe. Danny Pena, safe. Uh, you know, there's some people out there that we love, and we're glad that they're all right. Absolutely. You know? And uh, Florida's next, man. Praying for you guys, too. I got some friends out there. Yep. It looks like mm -hmm. it's going to hit the east coast of it. Oh. The latest predictions. No matter where it's going to hit, it's going to be bad. It's yep. going to be bad. So, people be safe. Be My safe. buddy Brian, Get Brian Bubenheimer. Bro, we love you, bro. Love Frankie, you, bro. Frankie Perez, love you, Frankie. bro. Frankie! Make sure you guys get your ass to safety, man. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was Rick Mathiason's band, you know, uh, of Steel Prophet fame. Fantastic singer. Amazing fucking vocalist. Great band all around. These guys are, uh, they put the punch in the prog metal, you know? Fucking amazing. <laughs> Love it. But uh, nice. support those guys, man. Human Entity. Check them out. They're on uh, Reverb Nation. All right? And, uh, all right, let's get into it, Roach. All right. Let's do this. Oh, look at Uncle Louie's oh, coming no. up. Oh, no. Jesus, already? Yeah. Brother. <laughs> yeah, hang on a minute, you tough guy. This is Uncle Louie Simone, and you're listening to Metal Bully and the Roach. The best in uncensored talk and metal music on MetalMessiahRadio.com, you fucking prick bastard. Good evening, Jenkins' Aquarium. 
Ah, yes. Uh, would I be able to speak with someone there who, who deals with uh, saltwater creatures? Um, what would it be in regards to, so I could potentially direct you to the right person? It would be my starfish. To your, do you have a, you have a starfish? Yes, I do. A very lovely brown starfish. Okay, and what was your question about it? Can you help me with this? Uh, I'm going to try to, and if not, I'm going to take a message for our Aquarius. They're all gone for the wow. day, but I do also work with the animals. I'm not here. So all I'm going right. to try to see if I can get you an answer. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. My name is Louis Simone. Okay. You could call me Uncle Louis if you want. Everybody calls me Uncle Louis. And okay. All right. You sound like a sweetheart, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you really do. Anyway, I I need to, I would like to bring my starfish down there. Okay. And you contribute it to your wonderful aquarium. Okay, so you want to donate a sea star? I want to okay. br bring it down there, and I want to moisten it in the salt water. Is it already dried? Or is it alive? Like, is it a living sea star that you have in a tank already? Or is it a sea star that's already been dried out? No, it's live. Okay. But I think it's in pain. I'm a little choked up because I love animals. Oh, it's okay. We all do, so I understand. How long have you had it for? Oh, many years. Yeah. Many moons. He's How big is he? Um, three, four inches. Three of inches? Course, yeah. Okay. When he's stretched out. Yeah. He gets stretched out a lot. Okay. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, though, it, it's, it's, I don't know. The last time I put the, I tried the salt water routine before. And, okay. uh, as soon as I dipped it into the salt water, it, you know, it burned. Burn. Mm. Nobody ever wants to talk about the burn. Okay. You know? Yeah. I, I mean, the, I've seen it, a lot of action, my starfish. Yeah. Yeah. Stretched out, railed, slammed the whole yeah. nine yards. You know? Yeah. 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 Okay. Ooh. I mean, my my question for you is, do you have um, a way to take a photo of it and email it to us or something like that? Because then I could actually get that photo to the Aquarius directly. Oh, there's plenty of photos of my brown starfish floating around the Internet, sweetie. Plenty. Plenty. It's brown. Did I tell you? It's brown. It's yeah, a beautiful a brown. Of species that are brown. So what, I'm wondering if it's a, a couple, common sea star or. Did you say a couple of feces yeah. is brown? There's a couple of different species species of sea Fe star. You said yeah. feces. That means poop. No, no. Species S P E C I E S. Ah, I thought you was talking. You're me laugh. Oh, well, that one, that's all right, because it's, oh, we are talking about my brown starfish anyway. That's good. That's good. I, I just want to bring it down, show you my starfish, maybe. Okay. You know, dip, okay. It, in the, dip it in the salt water. Hopefully it well, won't burn. One of the big things, though, is any sea stars or animals that we bring into the aquarium, before right. we could put them in any tank that we currently have, we have to quarantine them. Oh. Um, because animals can bring stuff in. Um, oh, yeah. And, you know, My star. We never quite know, so we would have to quarantine it anyway for a period of time before we could do that. My brown starfish has been exposed to plenty of organisms, I'm sure. I'm okay. sure. This okay. is it. Away, away the way it rolls, so to speak, yeah. in this kind of a situation. So when, when yeah. can I bring them down? 
Um, let me do this. Can I get, do you have a phone number that I can call you back at? Sure. Um, because I would want, you know, if, if, if you come down, I would want there to be an aquarist here. Right, okay. Um, that would be able to speak to you. Right. So I would want it to be a time and date when they were available to come Right. In. So what, what phone number can I reach you at? 848. Okay. 999. Okay. Four four. I'm sorry. Can you say the uh, last four digits again? Four seven. Uh huh. Five five. Okay. So I have eight four eight nine 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 four seven five five. That's correct, sweetie. Okay. And what is you your name? Your last, my name is Jennifer. Jennifer, are you yeah. married? I am married. Ah, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! I tell you. A guy like me, it never gets a break, you know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I, I, I tell you, we, good women like you is like parking places. All the good ones is already taken. <laughs> Around here, that is definitely right? true for parking spaces. Right? It's true. Yeah. <laughs> and it's harder even to find a woman who likes the brown starfish <laughs> the way you do. Oh, thanks. Not yeah, easy. Um, not easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, but like I said, we're all animal lovers here, so yeah. we all understand. Right. You know. I understand, sweetheart. You would love That's my right. starfish if you've seen it. Yeah. Maybe you will see it, and I come down there. I show it yeah. to you. <laughs> well, if I'm here, I'll, I'll definitely uh, come see it. So what was your last name? How do I feel about turtles? Nah, that's this asshole buddy of mine over here. Gerbils. Gerbils, he's talking about. Gerbils. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in the aquarium, jackass. They're not in a <laughs> goddamn into the little furry animals. I come over here, I'll smack you. I come <laughs> over. Hey, I'm ready to go smack him with a slice of this pepperoni pizza I got over here. Oh, man. So, how, uh, so um, how do I spell your last name so I have it written down here right? It's Simone S. Like Sam, I, okay. M, like Mary, O, okay. Okay. N, like Nancy, and okay. E, like Elvis Presley, the king. E, like Elvis Presley, the, the king. king. You got it. That's right. The king. Okay. Now, you want, now just so I have it clear, right. um, so I don't tell them the wrong information. Okay. It sounds like you're very attached to your star. I, so, maybe you don't you understand. Are. Okay, so what is your feelings that Just you would come here with us, or I do am. you want to? Are you coming in, and then you would bring him home with you again? My starfish is very attached. You're gonna have to practically cut him off of me. Okay. You're gonna have to amputate. Okay, well, it's up to you. We would never ask for an animal that you didn't want to have us have. You know, I mean, we don't do that here, so. It's up to you. Oh, I've had him for so many years. I've had him for so long that yeah, I never, I you know. Well, let's do this. Let me uh, let them know about it, okay? Um, and then um, maybe we can see if we can have one of them call you, all right, and touch base with you about it, and we go from there. Okay, sweetheart. Does that sound like a plan? Oh, it sounds like a plan, Sam. Okay, sounds good. All right. Did you have any other questions? I don't know. What do you suggest I do about the burn? About the burn? The burn. The, the burn salt water. Sure. I get. Yeah. You know, I, that's a tough one. I yeah, wish I could help you. Yeah, I dip the starfish in and it burns. Yeah. It burns me. I, it burns me. I couldn't help with that because I'm not as keen on the medical side of things. I would suggest talking to someone who's good with medicine. Okay, honey. You know, a, a medical professional might be able to direct you better than I would on that one. Okay, sweetheart. I, I was, I was, it was a joy speaking with you. And if oh, I ever too. spoke to your higher up superiors, I would tell them, give you a raise. Oh, <laughs> I'd you. like to give you a raise too. <laughs> but I'm Thank not working you. with much over here. No, <laughs> I hear you. A couple inches, that's all. Yeah, all right. I hear you. All right. Okay, well, two maybe well, thank you for most. calling us, okay? All right, sweetness. God okay, bless you. Night. God bless you and thank you. You bet. All right, <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, my God, hear me now. 
Oh, that was just uh, I can't even believe that she <laughs> stayed on the phone that long. I can't even believe it. I can't. I really can't believe it. Yeah, no. Can you believe that she stayed on the phone that long? With, with my, well, my Uncle Louie. Oh, Uncle Louie's so lovable. He's uh, lovable. He's a lovable guy. He was yeah. making her laugh. He's lovable, all right. Made her feel comfortable. He's just fucking lovable as fucking cancer, that fucking guy. Lovable. You know, I don't know. But uh, all I know is that uh, he always talks about the burn. The burn. But no, no one talks nobody, about the burn. Yeah, nobody ever wants to talk about the burn with him. I, I don't understand it. You know, you got, he eats a lot of spicy food. I always got to hear about it because I'm his nephew. So you Maybe know, you gotta it's explain always, about the burn a little bit. Yeah, when he comes, people that don't know. When he comes, when he comes in, a little later, we're gonna have to ask him about that. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't understand why he keeps punishing himself and he keeps eating all them fucking jalapenos and the crushed red pepper on the fucking pizza and, well, and everything that's else. Freaking Uncle Louie for you. Yeah, he knows it's gonna. <laughs> he knows it's gonna burn his starfish. <laughs> his starfish. <laughs> he, he ought to fucking stay away from it for a while. You know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'd keep punishing myself that way. Would you, Roach? Uh, if I had the burn, no. Maybe he enjoys the fucking burn. We're going to have to ask it. him about Maybe that. Maybe he likes it. Yeah. It could be, man. I don't think he's going to be too happy if you say that to him, though. <laughs> you better watch out because you know he's insane, that fucking guy. Yes, he is. He is. Freaking oh. 65-year-old freaking knucklehead. Yeah. So, yeah, speaking of insane... I heard a friggin' story. I couldn't friggin' believe it. Just uh, some teacher somewhere in one of these uh, liberal uh, states, she fucking kicked two uh, kids out of her class. I don't remember. I think they were high school kids. They had uh, Make America Great t-shirts on. Two friends. And she told them they either had to take the shirts off and turn them inside out. Or they had to leave her classroom. What? Yeah, no, no bullshit, man. She, they showed a video of it. They have a video of it. It's on YouTube. I mean, you could find it. Huh. She was so fucking triggered by, <laughs> by the Make America Great Again slogan that she threw them out of the fucking uh, classroom. That's just stupid. I, I, I That's just plain old stupid. Please, I would have had my parents on a war path if, if she would have did that to me, you know, if I was in school. That know? was just like a... Uh... Right here, back here in Jersey, when they took the school pictures and they, a couple of kids had Make America Great Again shirts on, this and they like blacked it out. Right. And the freaking parents went after the freaking uh, schools. Who, 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 now who blocked it out? Who blacked it out? Uh, from what I remember, it might have been the actual photography company. You what? gotta be shitting me. Yeah. It, I, I believe it was a photography company, and they said something about because uh, copyrights and this. Yeah, and they that. bullshit, and they're, they're, yeah. they're covering their asses. But I, I mean, it, it came on, it came on the news, and all of a sudden, freaking, it was just out of the news. Wow, wow. Well, that's because the news is uh, controlled by the mainstream media, which is in turn uh, controlled by. The uh, left wingers, you know, the uh, World Banks, George Soros, et cetera, et cetera. Don't get me started on that because then I'll start sounding like Alex Jones. <laughs> Alex <you know>. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Good old AJ. 1776 <laughs> will commence again. <laughs> Alexa Pure, grab your water, Alexa Pure today. <laughs> 5,000 gallons of pure American water will filter out all the... All the GMOs and all the preservatives, and we'll give you natural water. Natural water. All natural. Water. All natural. All natural. I love Alex Jones. I don't care what anybody says. He's a little over the top, but you know, Alex. Some is, of the shit he does and talks about. I know. Yeah. He's, you know, it's performance art to a certain extent. That's my nigga, though, yo. You know what I'm saying? Me, my nigga. My nigga, yo. It's like uh, Rush Lumbaugh. Remember Rush? I love Rush. Well, he's like Alex Jones is like uh, kind of like a Rush kind of guy, you know? Except with more conspiracy theories. A little bit, but that's all good. I wear my tinfoil hat when I watch, so I'm, I'm, I fit right in. You have it on now. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. But, but, but still, seriously, though, I mean, making the kids turn their shirt inside out or leave... 
It's a little extreme, Roach. It is. It a little is. Extreme. It is. Definitely. It's like, uh, hey, did that ever happen to you, Roach? That would be like you, you, if you wore one of your shirts with a cock on it and they told you <laughs> you had to leave. <laughs> well, actually, I was in Catholic school, so we had a like, uniform. So. You used to wear cock t-shirts no. to Catholic school? How'd you get away with that? Easy. You cocked the nuns. Because you were a fucking <laughs> altar boy. <laughs> Roach was an altar boy. Yes, I was. That's why his hair was parted in the middle. All nice and straight. Because <laughs> I was a good boy. Good boy. Oh, God. <laughs> that oh, priest. Jesus. I remember that priest. He was uh, his jackass. Was he? Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, my mother didn't like the guy. No? My mother loves everyone. Does she? Yeah. She's a good-hearted person and... If she doesn't like someone, there's something wrong with that person. Yeah, well, tell her to listen in later, and after Uncle Louie does his spoken word, we'll see how much she likes him. <laughs> 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 Uncle, Uncle Louie's going to come in, and uh, I know the song he's going to do, too. Oh, he's doing a song? He's, well, he's reading the lyrics. He doesn't have the music recorded yet, so uh, I told him I would do him a favor. Was it like acapella? He's going to, no, spoken word. He's just going to read it. Mm. It's uh. The song is called Queefin' for Papa. Queefin' for Papa. <laughs> Queefin' for Papa. Yeah, so, you know, that just sounds wrong already. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It just sounds wrong. I don't even know. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good in the hood, my brother. Yep. All good in the hood. All so, right. So uh, let's get into the next bout of music, my friend. All right. Sounds good. You guys go. ready for a little Griffin Hulk the Slayer? Oh my God, Metal Messiah. Now. Radio. I kiss. That's like one of the greatest Kiss albums ever, 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 <laughs> ever, ever. What'd you do? Oh, what the fuck! Don't even worry about it. I'm such a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, I'm so clumsy. You know. I dropped my fucking Mountain Dew, but luckily just a little bit came out because I already <laughs> drank half the can already with my fucking vodka, so, you know. Oh, Lord. What's all your fault, Roach? Oh, jeez, because I'm telling you, hey, you got to get back on the mic. Listen, pal. Okay? Oh, my God, I got to go on live. It's, I'm, it's live. Your, I'm live. It's I get your, nervous. I listen, get nervous. I get nervous. Listen, pal. Yes, sir. It's your fault that I have to drink alcoholic beverages while I'm on the air because you make me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your starfish should be nervous, not right, you, pal. <laughs> My starfish actually right now is winking at the thought of you, <laughs> sweetheart. Yeah, it's so tiny. Roach is a handsome man. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen the roach, but uh, Melissa, if you're listening, she better be listening. You're in trouble, Melissa. And and uh, Lisa Claro is in even bigger trouble than Melissa. Because uh, Eric. Oh, wow. You got the hot for him? Oh, Eric is just. <laughs> not only is he a handsome man, but he's a wonderful man, too. He's wonderful, he's too. He's awesome. Huh. Awesome, awesome, awesome guy. Awesome band. Thrust fucking kicks fucking ass. Ass. But, um. Check out Lisa. Enough, about, a... enough about them. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, well, the, anyway, l- listen. Thank you for listening. Lisa. Real quick, and Eric, we got lots of she Eric said coming you're up. Listening. We got lots of Eric coming up. But uh, while we, we actually, we actually, we have some of Eric. You know what up. I mean, pal? Why do you always just insubordinate? Insubordinate, yeah. Anyway, insubordinate. We had don't so much material. Me. So much material. I don't even, don't even know. We, we had to cut it down to half an hour. Well, well, almost well, two hours. We can, stuff. we can burn him. The we can burn. <laughs> the whole CD. <laughs> we can burn you the whole CD and send it to you. We did talk for almost two hours, didn't we? Yeah, it was close to two hours. Jesus Christ. The hell were we talking about? I don't oh, even want to know, dude. It was Please. all debauchery. I don't even want to know. <laughs> we know how quickly our conversations can degenerate. I don't know. There was talk of drinking gasoline. Yeah. There was. Please. Just let's keep it... Let's keep it a surprise for the audience, pal. Yeah. All yeah. five of them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it a fucking surprise. They're all five listeners. Oh, we've got five people in the chat tonight. We usually have 20 in the fucking chat. I don't know where everybody is. Oh, well, hopefully everybody's listening and just not on chat. Well, I... But- 
We should be so lucky. Come on, pop and chat, people. If you're listening, go on the chat. Jump in the chat. MetalMessiahRadio.com. MetalMessiahRadio.com. Just pop in and pop out. This way we can... Like my penis. (laughs) Your penis doesn't pop out. Um, (laughs) I'm hung like an elevator button. That's right. I'm hung like a horse. Fly. Fly. (laughs) Listen, you can make fun all you want, but I really am hung like a bull. (laughs) Frog. (laughs) Bullfrog. Ribbit. <laughs> oh, my own. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the way these conversations degenerate, I'll tell Dude, you. what's up with freaking all this Antifa shit lately? That's not what we were supposed to talk about, tough guy. Okay? We were on the subject of Kiss. Remember? We were on Kiss. That's right. Because we what? talked about what a great album Creatures of the Night was. Yes, yes, yes. And what a great album Lick It Up was, because after those two albums, they Louis, started to suck. But Uncle Louie, didn't he and uh, his old lady? Who, Wahida? Yeah. What about her? Didn't they go join them? Yeah, but not yet. But I heard mm. that they stopped over there, and I don't know if they joined up with them, but they I know they went not. to a rally. Yeah. They went to a rally. I mean, we'll, we'll hear more about that later, I'm sure. But um, Vinny Vincent, fucking amazing guitar player. Love the guy. He's the only other guitar player I really, really liked besides Ace Frehley and Kiss. I got to be honest with you. I was never a big Bruce Kulick fan. I mean, uh, Mark St. John was a kick-ass guitarist, but he died. Uh, he got that bone bone disease or something. I don't know. Bone they cancer, I think, something. or some shit. They- but uh, Vinny, Jets, Jets in the house. Vinny was a strange guy. Vinny Vincent. I mean, uh, we've got tales <laughs> of uh, tales of horror, murdering dogs, got caught burying dogs in his fucking backyard in Connecticut. Like wife, wife abuse, spousal abuse, something wife like that? beater. Yeah, which is hard to believe because <laughs> Vinny Vincent's about three foot tall, <laughs> and weighs about sixty five pounds wet. wet. So you know, who the freak could he beat up? You know, really. I don't know. Probably you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I am a little guy, but. <laughs> oh, Christ. Anyway. I'm probably bigger than him. Yeah. But uh, he's going to be at the Atlanta Kiss Expo in 2018. Apparently, he's coming out of hiding. Guy's been. Uh, hiding as a man? There's those rumors too that he's uh, Vicky Vincent now. He's not Vinny Vincent anymore. <laughs> Vicky Vincent. Yeah, Vicky Vincent. He's got a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. Why not just go with Vincenza? I don't know. Why Vicky? You have to ask him that. Uh, did, I'm tempted to go see them. I, we might have even mentioned this on the last show. Now and that's I starting so. to come back to me now because I remember mentioning how expensive the tickets are. To meet him and all of that shit. But, uh, you know, if I had the money, I'd probably go because uh, I'd like to shake his little hand. <laughs> I'm sure you'd like to shake something else. Like to, <laughs> That's little. I'd like, to ta- <laughs> I'd like to take his little hand and place it on my... Uh, little cock. Yeah. my Both inches. Both. Both inches. Yeah. Both. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Really? Somebody shoot me now, please. Shoot me now. Oh, Lord. Uh, it's all Roach's fault. Roach is the one who likes to talk about all this crazy stuff here. Right, pal? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Mm-hmm. Antifa sucks fucking. Oh, hey, remember uh, Gina? Yeah, I know. I know. We have to tell tell you guys about a uh, good friend of ours is doing something really, really awesome for the scene right now. Gina Andriani. Yeah. Tell them a little bit about that, Roach. She doing the um, Rock Shop News? Is that, yeah. is that what it's called? Yes, it's a, yeah. it's, a, it's like a newspaper. You know, distributed. I don't know. Obviously, all about it's for free. Um, That's what's really awesome, too. Yeah, it is. And she's showcasing all the local bands and bands that are out there are just doing their thing and getting them exposure, man. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. I mean, we're we're actually featured in there somewhere. Yeah, I she think said. she did put the Metal Bully and a Roach in there. Or at least an ad, anyway. Right? Which is still cool. 
Well, shit. You know, any, any, yeah, she any, says she's going to send it to me, so. she's Yeah, she's going to actually send me uh, two, and I'll give you one because it helps her save on postage, too. Uh-huh. So she's going to send them here. So you greedy fuck, you asked her for two when she's giving it away for free, and Shh. you know it costs her money, and Shh. you asked for two. Because well, one's for you, you fucking prick. Well, she was sending me one anyway. <laughs> Asshole. She's not sending it to your house. She's sending both here. Okay. Stunad. Jerky. I'm telling my fucking, my uncle when he comes. Mom. My uncle's going to put you in Were cement you shoes. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell my mom on you. <laughs> Hey, my, my my mother just became a grandmother. She got no time to, for fucking games anymore, pal. Right? That's right. Congratulations, been, Maria. Yes, my I sister, Maria. I don't know Maria. if you're listening. Nah, she don't fucking listen. Are you kidding me? She hates heavy metal. Yeah. She listens to, like, country. Country, um, country. The modern country shit. Yeah, the gay stuff. <laughs> the fucking gay stuff. Florida, Georgia line? You know, uh, what's his face? She likes Brad Paisley and... All the good-looking ones that are probably queer. Half gay? Yeah. Well, it's yeah. all right. I don't care if they're queer. As long as they don't try to grab my junk. Don't grab my junk. Because they won't find it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your junk? No, that's just another roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, one of my rolls are much bigger. My rolls are much, much bigger. Well, that's my what I'm penis. saying. My penis, you Don't won't. confuse I, your roll for the penis. I can't see my fucking penis. Told you. Oh, that's because of your belly. And I haven't seen my penis in 10 years, pal. <laughs> Ten years at least, pal. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we're we're degenerating again. Uh, Gina Andriani, she's a wonderful girl. She does so much for the scene. Gina, I'm so sorry for uh, drifting off the subject and onto the subject of this person next to me <laughs> over here, this roach person. Uh. But she does a lot to help the scene, and that's awesome, you know. And uh, her old man too. I mean, this is his baby as well, Scott. Yeah, Scott. Right? So, Gina and Scott, we salute you. And uh, bands out there, if you want to be included in the Rock Shop Press, right? Rock Shop Times, rather, I believe it's yeah, called. Rock Shop Times. Rock Shop I Times. Think. Rock Shop Press sounds pretty cool, too. But anyway, <laughs> not my paper. Rock Shop Times, send your information to... Let's see if you can get this up. Piece of shit fucking phone. I tell you, I hate it. I'll take this phone. I'm going to chuck it. Send your logo, band contact email to sales at rockshoptimes.com. Once again, send your logo and your contact email to sales at rockshoptimes.com. Yes. Gina, thank you so much for helping out the scene. We love you. I just posted it on the chat, so if you guys go on the chat, you can see the information. Awesome. Yeah, get included, people. Let's do this. Together we're strong. Right? Together we're strong. <laughs> like <laughs> Aunt, like Aunt Quifa. Aunt Quifa. And uh, Aunt Quifa. But... Speaking of Anquifa. I hate them so much. I we, really do. We got uh coming up we got uh Uncle Louie. <laughs> oh and man. Wahida. That's right. That's right. Oh, here we go. People strap yourselves in. It doesn't get many stranger than this. And here we go. Okay now, Louis. Don't Messiah be saying Louis. nice, stupid. You heard me, dumbass? You fucked this up and no pussy for you for a month. You heard, motherfucker? Take it easy, Wahida. Do I look fucking stupid mm. to you? You really don't want me to answer that now, do you? Alright, alright. You got to check from these people for us pulling this little stunt here? Not yet. Didn't I tell you? 100 motherfucking times already. We get paid after we stir up the shit. That's that old rich bastard paying us, right? Moros? Soros, motherfucker. And don't be talking so loud. Oh, look. There goes the news camera. Hurry up and go on your side. I'll be with these niggas right over here. Oh, boy. All right, all right. Pain in my ass, I'll tell you. Jesus H. Christ. This woman's no goddamn good. I don't know why the fuck I'm with her. You are watching Channel 3 News, WKRAP. 
And here we are at the Antifa and Black Lives Matter protest in Asnick, Oregon, where both groups have shown up to let their voices be heard. As you can see, the park is packed with young people wearing all black clothing, masks, and motorcycle helmets, some even carrying bats, pipes, and other weapons. But so far, it's been a peaceful protest. Yeah, yeah, and you people, well, with, your, with your white privilege, you, you damn homophobes and, and xenophobes and uh, Islamophobes and people of color phobes. You don't understand what black people deal with every day. We do. We go to college that our parents sent us to and paid for. We get money wired to us when we need it. Yeah, uh, 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 we dye our hair every color imaginable. And, and we stay up all night thinking of new words that we can add phobe to. We understand the black man's plight. You, you don't. Uh, excuse you me, Nazis. Mr. White Newsman. I would like to be on the news and give y'all a heads up on what be wrong with this racist society. Um, sure. Sure, here's the mic. Now remember, we are going live, so no foul language, okay? Uh, oh, Christ, here we go. You fuckers don't know what you're in for now. People of Asnick, Oregon. My name's Wahida, and I want to tell you what's going on out there in this fucked up world. All y'all white privileged motherfuckers out there with your racist society. You know, what's up with milk? Why milk gotta be white? What about chocolate? Oreo cookies? It's like y'all is consuming the black man. Your movies. Movies. The Planet of the Apes. Y'all know who the apes is, motherfucker. and Heston. And how about... King Kong, Kong, that giant monkey. Hey. You won't take him from Hold his on island. To God, Put that's that motherfucker in chains. Enough of this shit. Don't tell me you ain't Hold portraying up. the black man. Hold up there, I Wahida. Know what time Wahida. Hey. Hey. You guys know each other. Stupid bitch. What? Don't talk about the best science fiction. That's not what do racist. You mean? It ain't racist. That I shit do be racist. No, it's not. It's good science fiction. I, I love it. It's That's it, favorite. Louis. You ain't getting no pussy for a month now, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. I done told you, you. fat bitch. Oh, you can stick I your twat up your ass. What you talking about? You uh, heard no. Me? Uh-uh. Yeah, That's what are you going to do, about motherfucker? It. You're done wait, now. Wait, wait. Oh, no. no. oh, oh. Put oh. that toe. Oh. You oh. 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 my hair. Come on, you fat fuck. So, uh, yeah, let me just talk a little bit about our guest, uh, Eric Claro, who's an amazing singer. Amazing singer, amazing, like amazing I said, person. He reminds me of a lot of uh, James Rivera from Hellstar vocally. Um, you know, uh, some moments, a uh, lot, a lot. But uh, I, I really dig the stuff, man. The new stuff is amazing, amazing. Um, I was a friend uh, of James for Jesus since uh, I met him in Chicago when uh, he first joined Seven Witches. So uh, yeah, I got to I got oh, to that's know right. James, James didn't play. James was in Seven Witches after yeah. Wade Black, who was in it after I was in it. Yeah, you were the original singer. Right. You, Brian. Right. But, uh, what I'm getting fat at is boy, I, I, I know it. James's voice uh, really, really well uh, because I used to listen to Hellstar when I was fucking, I don't know, 19, something like that. And, uh, yeah, Eric Eric really reminds me of, uh, of James, his delivery, and just, it's awesome, man. Fucking awesome. But he's got his own thing, too. He's got a little bit more grit uh, in his vocals, you know, when he wants to have it. But uh, killer, killer fucking music. When I saw them guys play with us, I was blown away. Me and uh, Motley were up in the front, man. Up in the front. Yeah. Uh, that was uh, that festival in Greece, correct? Yes, it was. We also played with those guys at uh, 
Fuck. Milwaukee? We, Milwaukee uh, Death, what is it called? NY, they, well, it's put on by the NYDM, New York Death Militia, but it was the uh, Milwaukee chapter, I believe, uh, it was their fest, and that was the first time we played with those guys. But um, I've been listening to them since Fist Held High, but that wasn't Eric singing on Fist Held High. That was the uh, original guy. And um, then they then he did something else in between, and I did not like it. I, I don't even know who that was. Uh, it was a different vocalist. And they got kind of glammy. I, I don't know if glammy is the way to, the right way to... Maybe describe it, it maybe but that's uh, what it was rocky that time. more rock and rollish but nah this was uh later man this was in the 90s i think that they did that shit uh, i'm not sure i'm not sure either man late 90s i think it was but i didn't really like it i gotta be honest with you but shit this new stuff is their fucking best music yet and i'm not just saying that i'm not blowing smoke i mean it now, we actually had the chance to hear one of the new songs, and it's pretty damn good. Two of the new songs, pal. Two of the new songs. I'm oh, sorry. Two. Two. Two of the new Big songs. Big difference between one and two, pal. Yeah. There's one. All right, tough guy? The difference is one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up for me, buddy. Hey, listen. I passed math class. <laughs> and I passed gas. Okay. Yes, you did. All the time. I know it stinks. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Anyway, so, yeah, we're going to get to that interview right now. We had a blast talking to this guy. He's a good guy. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't even call it an interview. I think it's just us chatting. It's not. You know, you guys who listen to us and you're familiar with Metal Bully and a Roach, you know it's not your ordinary interview. It's, it's just us. A bunch of guys, you know, three guys hanging out. <laughs> Uh, almost, almost like a circle jerk. And and <laughs> speak for yourself, pal. Oh, dude, you were speak for yourself. You were right? like this. Speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> I like women. Thank you very much. Good for you. All right. <laughs> but they don't like you. That's the problem. That's that's it in a nutshell, right there. <laughs> they they I like them, but they don't like me. I don't know. Maybe oh, it's I don't know either. I don't know. We're off the air again. Are we off the air or are we on the fucking air? Are we good? Can you guys hear us right now? Hello? I think so, because Katie would be saying, no, we can't hear you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. All You're right. all right. In any case, let's get rolling with this. We're going to do this right now, people. Hopefully, the sand player will play it. But here we go. Mr. Eric Claro of Thrust on Thrust. Metal Bully and the Roach. Metal Messiah Radio. Yes, yes, here we are. The most coveted moment of the Metal Bully and the Road show. We have our interview with Mr. Eric John Claro of Thrust. Thrust. Yeah, what's happening, eh, EJ? What's going on, buddy? Hey, good, e good evening, gentlemen. Yeah, man, what's happening over down there, uh, California uh. way? Uh, we got lots of fires. We got drought. We're in the desert. Uh, everybody's complaining about getting a fifteen dollar raise on their checks. <laughs> complaining? Yeah, that's what we got going on. Jesus Christ! I'm moving out to California today. <laughs> I'm moving to fucking L.A. Where, what part of what part of California yeah. you in, man? What part? Uh, southern, Southern California. We got Northern. We got Southern. We got Middle Central California. Hey, my my sister lives out in, in, my sister lives out in Fontana. Oh wow, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty close to her actually. Oh okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, about probably about thirty minutes to Fontana. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, we got some peeps out here. Yes, we do. Hopefully, be out there soon yeah. with the band. Maybe next year, we're hoping. Uh, I think that we are already on the Frost and Fire <laughs> festival. We definitely there. need you guys out here, man. Yeah. Attacker, I'm, you got you guys rock, man. I, I saw you guys in Greece and. Yeah, and then also in uh, Milwaukee, when we did the Milwaukee thing. Yeah, man, you know what, dude? Yeah. I'll tell you what, when uh, I had Fist Held High for a long time, but I know you weren't the vocalist mm -hmm. on that, but I liked the album a lot, man. But I'll tell you what, oh, dude, God, it's much better with you, man. I like your, your vocal style. I like your oh, delivery. Thanks. I, I thought you guys oh, were Thanks fucking, a lot, man. Dude, the fucking energy coming off the stage. We were right up front, me and John, me and Motley. We're right up front for you guys. You saw oh. us out there. 
fucking thanks, awesome, man. I appreciate man. that. One of the best yeah, fucking yeah. bands well, out there. Fucking excellent. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a big compliment coming from you, man. Yeah, appreciate well, that. I ain't no, no it, it's usually it's usually tough. It's it's usually tough getting getting a good compliment from another vocalist because mm. usually. You know, you'll you'll get the arms crossed, and you'll get the mm, ah, ah, I'm fuck that shit. this dude. Fuck yeah, that. this guy sucks. I I get I get hit fucking you know, but th- I really appreciate that, man. I you know, um, you know, I've been doing this for many years, just like you, and uh, it's just been you know, it's 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 a long ride, man. And you know, you get to where you can get yeah, these days. That competition shit and kitty shit. It's all kitty shit. The way I look at it, man. You yeah, know, man. It, you can yeah, stick man. Together, like bro. Eight, eight, yeah, that's like '80s bullshit competition. You know what I mean? Like back in when you were in high school. You know, right. like, oh, we're better than that band, or you know. We and this about time, that. it's all about. Yeah. yeah, this time it's just all about the metal, all about the music, and all about the good vibes, bro. That's yep. what no metal's doubt. about, man. Music. Yeah. We we talked to uh, yeah. Alan D- Alan Johnson yeah. and from also Exciter. Dave from uh, Super Dave Austin. Oh yeah, yeah, from yeah. Nasty, Nasty Savage. Oh wow. You know, we talked about the same thing. Oh, it's the about, same you know, thing they, we talked about. Yeah. You know, all that baby crap from the '80s carrying over. It's like you know, we're family now. You know, let's just support each yeah, other and yeah. get each other. You know, going. If it can stay yeah, like exactly. this, and and with the, with everybody, you know, pitching in, helping each other out, and and uh, you know, being cool with each other, you never know, man. You know, shit could good shit could yeah, happen. Yeah, man. it it yeah, it's the only, it's the only way to roll, man. I mean, you you can't be you know eyeballing other bands and going uh you know like. Uh, a good example for me was when everybody met up in Greece and everybody met up in, you know, whatever festivals we, we played at together. Yep. It was just a good vibe. It was like a family, man, yeah. you know. there were, Of course, there were some, some families that were drunk. Yeah. And then there were families that were, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> but uh, that's just part of the a- Hey, man, that's just part of the action, man. That's all there is to it, you know. But it was well, all good. One good of vibes. my fondest memories from Greece, Eric John, yeah. Was upstairs with you on the seventh floor, doing shots right. of Greek moonshine together. Remember? Oh man, <laughs> did you, did you, have you told that story about the uh, the guy, the the bartender pulling out this bottle that's of Coke a, without the? Uh, lo- yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That yeah, freaking the, shit, man, was amazing, right? <laughs> that's, wow, that's right, man. <laughs> wow. It was so good you almost yeah, forgot some Greek, about it. <laughs> yeah, man, it was yeah, some, some, Greek, some moonshine. Greek moonshine, man. Yeah. He took it, and it wasn't Sipero because Sipero I had later, the day before, le- right. uh, the night I think before we left was when I had the Sipero. After I tried the Uzo because one of my Greek buddies uh, on Facebook's like, you gotta try the Uzo before, you-. and I didn't know Uzo. Right, right, right. I didn't know it was anise flavored. I don't like that anise shit. You know, that's why I really don't touch yeah, Sambuca. Right, right, right. I'm not a big black licorice fan. So I was like, uh, right. you know, and, and uh, Mike, Mike. <laughs> Mike Sabatini. He's, he's always like that. Yeah, pal. Listen, take it easy over there, buddy. Don't make me come over there, pal. Right. And, and when I tasted right, it, I was right. like, yeah. And Mike, and Mike was like, dude, don't drink too much Uzo. It's going to fuck you all up, man. You know, because <laughs> one, one of their old guitar players, yeah. um, rest in peace, Tommy D'Amico, he said he was drinking right. Uzo when, uh, one day, and uh, he had his head in the bucket by the end of the night. So... What? No, yeah, he no, said it really, really. It's really like crept up on him. But I'm, I'm, I'm a veteran. Really? Wow. I'm a veteran. So oh, yeah, uh, it didn't yeah. do that to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a little extra. So, so yeah. So what is the what is the veteran what is the veteran drink nowadays oh. to, to to creep to make sure nothing creeps up on him? Well, our good friend, gorgeous Bill Georges, right? right. Gorgeous Bill Georges turned me on to Cipero. Right, this Sipero stuff was, uh, wow, wow. They 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 make right. it in all the storefronts over there. I guess it's like another uh, homemade, you know, booze they make. Homemade. Out there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it kicked me in the right. fucking ass after. You just, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe three, four shots. I mean, I what would you compare it to? Like like a you, Jack or a, no, a vodka? It's Is really. It like a, I can't explain it, man. I would I would have to say it's uh, almost like almost like a type of like a. A gin, maybe, perhaps. Oh, a gin. Oh, kind of, okay. kind of. Right. 
or a vodka. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's oh, okay. It's, okay. Yeah, it's, yeah. But it's got a weird taste. It's got a good taste. But they drink it over uh, uh, crushed ice, like uh, ice cubes. Oh wow! How much? How much proof is that? I don't have no idea, man. But I know, uh, okay. <laughs> Bill. Bill, actually, no, it's uh, close to ninety proof. Because Bill did yeah, uh, yeah. get me a bottle over here he found in uh, one of the importers. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, 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 what's the strongest drink you've ever had, Matt? The strongest. Me? Ooh. And this goes for you, too, you know, Roach. I want to find out what, what, you know. I don't know. It's got, it's Everclear, be, maybe? Or it's uh, be like Bacardi Everclear. 151. Bacardi 151 proof rum. 151? Yeah, that's pretty good have stuff. You, have you guys had gasoline? Never drank it, but I snorted it. <laughs> <laughs> it counts for the dead brain cells. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> well, back back in the uh, early, early, early 90s, like 90, 91, I had some friends that uh, wrong people to hang out with, but they decided to uh, fuel up on some unleaded gas. Huh. And, you mean seriously uh, drank it? You mean really drank it? Yeah, yeah. Holy shots. Holy yeah, we shit. took uh, two shots of each for, of gasoline. Oh, my God. I don't recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, with my luck, I would drink that shit, oh, fart, no. and set my house on fire. I can blow that shit up. Just imagine the burn. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> ever <laughs> talks <laughs> about the burn. <laughs> my fucking ass would look like Godzilla. My fucking life. <laughs> Only Godzilla's more handsome than my ass, that's for sure. <laughs> Christ. Oh, man. Right. But anyway, yeah. That's- How'd it taste, oh, man? It, 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 it tasted, it had this sharp uh, taste to it, but it didn't really taste like anything. It tasted like, like almost like medicine to me. That's a real... You know? It tasted <laughs> almost like... Uh, like like uh you know it's coming something like that <laughs> tastes what like that? medicine tastes sharp yeah it had like medicine? a weird yeah like a sharp taste to it Ooh, that's yeah real, and uh the road set it on my cock yeah. last night <laughs> <laughs> both inches <laughs> both inches of it both inches of it. both inches <laughs> right <laughs> Oh but anyway, God. that that's that's what that was. Jesus Christ, gasoline! Wow, you didn't get sick or yeah. anything from that. You didn't throw up? No, I, you know, I I did not throw up, but I did get sick like a few days later. I can imagine man. after eating some some mushrooms. Ooh, he's talking <laughs> my language now. Oh, let's oh, not go God. there. Please. But that, that many many moons ago, man. I was back in the day, yeah. man. When I was, you know, yeah, back in the hippie days. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Flowers 50 days of rehab. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I had a bad experience on mushrooms. Once. I don't even want mushrooms. No, that was a long time ago, dude. Man. I don't even put them on my pizza no more after that. Well, I didn't. This wasn't so long ago. So he used to walk. Yeah, well, hey, you remember? You, you remember anchovies back in the day? They used to throw anchovies on there. You could order pizza with anchovies. Yeah. 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 You don't cure anymore. Yeah, did they still do? Did they yeah. still do? That? Oh yeah, you oh, can get I anchovies yeah. over here. Oh, I, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know. Really? Yeah, I don't like them because it smells. Know. It smells like dirty vajayjay. So I don't really <laughs> care for it on there. You know what I mean? I open up the pizza box. I think it's one of my ex girlfriends. <laughs> Keep that shit away. <laughs> Oh, well, there you have it. This, this interview is quickly degenerating, isn't it, Roach? Uh, just a what little. What do you think? I told you. Yeah, we, just, <laughs> we just started. Yeah, I know. I oh, know. wow. It's only okay. going to get... We're only going deeper into the rabbit hole from here. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on in New Jersey, man, and oh, NJ? Christ, you don't want to know. NJ. New Jersey. NJ. It actually, you know, weather-wise, really, it actually got kind of cool this week. It did. It's been actually oh, weather wise, yeah. Weather wise, it's been beautiful actually for the past fucking week. A solid seven days. Dude, it looks man, like solid. Well, it looks like you guys are going to be getting some rain. Well, we had that scare with that Hurricane Irma. They said uh, at first New Jersey was going to be the most likely to get hit, yeah. but now it seems really? it's shifting. Oh, 
now it looks like Florida's getting nailed, not us. Yeah. Which is. I'm thinking Florida, Florida would get hit, right? That's what yeah, they're saying that's, now, yeah. Yeah, I think the last track I saw yeah. it was heading towards like Dominican Republic and Cuba, and then they don't know where it's going to go from there. Right. That was this morning. Right, right. Yeah, and that's funny, man. Because you know, once once that 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 last hurricane hit, you know, I've just been glued to the Weather Channel, and that's all I've been watching, nothing else but yeah. the Weather Channel. It's crazy, you man. know. And then they got the soft music coming on sometimes yeah. at midnight. <laughs> nice and soothing. Yeah. A bit, a little, yeah, nice. Yeah, jazz, <laughs> jazz with the news. You know, I understand all that, but yeah, you know. Uh, it's terrible what happened in Houston. My my stepdad had to get uh, evacuated, and uh, we have several friends from out that way. Uh, you know, oh, wow. James Rivera from Hell Stars out there. Uh, Danny Pena, my buddy Danny's out there. Uh, my stepdad's oh, out there. Right. Yeah. Uh, you all yeah. right? You all right over there, bro? Yeah. All right. You want? So, you, you, you okay? To choke on a cock. <laughs> Kale? <laughs> <laughs> choke on kale? <laughs> Wait, oh, is it kale Jesus or cock? Christ. What did he choke on? Man? Terrible, terrible. <laughs> you guys are terrible. <laughs> and also, but, uh, um, another great singer. Uh, we got James Rivera and, and Rick Mathiason from Human Entity. That guy's got a fucking voice. Oh, Mathiason. Yeah. yeah. I, remember, I remember that band he was in, uh, Steel Prophet. Yes, yes, yes. And you got to hear his you new know, band. You know, it's great, too, man. Human Entity. I'm playing them on the show today, really? so yes, yes, yes. You'll hear them. Uh, man, that that guy's got some great pipes, man. Yeah. He, he's an amazing vocalist, too. And very, very uh, good people, too, man. So's James, man. Yeah. I was listening to I James since I'm 17, for, uh, man. <laughs> You know, uh, I actually auditioned for Steel Prophet back in the day. No shit, I didn't know that. I didn't even know. Yeah. Like, how long have those guys been around? Uh, Steel Prophet? Yeah, 80s? they've been around for a while, man. No, yeah, no yeah, shit. they've been around. Got some albums, you know, and all that. So, so uh, yeah, I, I think you didn't get the gig. I didn't get the gig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did Bro. not get that gig. Yeah, but look at you, you know, now, bro. Me, look at you now. Man. He, he wanted oh, me to hit an F sharp. That's yeah. yeah well, some you know, shit, I, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, dig I'm digging these guys. I mean, Thrust is, you know, the, the amazing group of guys to play with. So, and uh, they're easy to get along with. No, no egos, no issues. And mm -hmm. yeah, always that's you know, important. That's what you want it. That's very important. Yeah, that's what you want in a band. You yeah. don't want drama. You know. You guys all situated in the same area. Uh, no, they, they pretty much are all in the same area. I've got to drive out that direction for rehearsal. So we're trying to make oh. something work and meet in the middle. Um, right. Oh, I was just wondering, know. like, if everyone was scattered around the states, like a lot of bands are nowadays. Yeah, that I don't get, I don't, that's a hard thing, man. I don't, I don't get that, how they make, make it work by being all over the place, you know? And uh, and you're absolutely right. Some 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 guys are like out of state, yeah. and they fly in like maybe once a month or twice a month to rehearse, and that would be it, or just do a show. Well, it's even crazier so. is you can actually uh, rehearse with people over the internet now. I mean, they have the uh, jam link and stuff like that now, where you're actually oh, able to crazy. do that. You know, you can yeah even set it up where you could see I, each I other on video. I, I you know, it's crazy. Yeah, that's that's a little that's a little tough though because you know I like the live. Vibe, yeah, dude, you know I don't I mean? like. I didn't like it. I Where? tried it. I tried it with Overlord. I did not like it. I, I it oh, was too. Oh, did that? How that work? No, out? not good. I didn't like it at all. It was too cold. Too uh, right. You lose that vibe. Totally lose the fucking vibe, man. Plus, there was latency issues, and, and that depends also on the distance. Um, like our, our right, drummer right, right. was in Florida, and our bassist was in North oh, Carolina. Wow. And uh, me and oh, the wow. yeah, me and the guitar player were in Jersey, but those two guys, you know, one was in Florida, one was in North Carolina. So if one of the guys has a shittier carrier, you know, cable carrier, right. internet carrier, that's going to Fuck affect up. it. Yeah, it's going to affect it. So we had latency issues on some days. I think out of all the times we used it, maybe one fucking time did it go so smooth that we didn't have to do anything. We just were able to play. Wow. Yeah. So I wow, mean, that's incredible, man. That, that yeah. that's a lot of kudos to you because that that's tough to do to me. I mean, I mean, for me, it, it it'd be a rough ride to to try and rehearse that way. 
Yeah. You know, it, may, it might have gotten better. That was you're it's talking almost, four years, five years ago. This was I think I think a little over four years ago. So they could have hired some bugs out yeah. of it by now, and it could be easier. Yeah, um, yeah. but the, but I totally agree with you, bro. The vibe, man, is very important. You know, you feed off each other. Yeah, it, it, the energy in the room. Yeah, it, it, it's got to it's got to be there. You know, I mean, if it's not, you know, the you know, like these bands that they try and get into, you know, or musicians trying to get into bands. You know, they think it's easier than pie to, oh, okay, well, I'm going to play in a band tomorrow. You know, it's, it's not that easy, man. It's, it's like having four girlfriends at the same time. You know, you got to figure them all out. Yep. Tough having one. Man.
buying one of those robots, Eric John. Save them up. Saving up. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that. Where, where did that. where did that all come from? Man? That's all. That dude. That's fucking for real, bro. That that dude's out in California. Matter of fact, I sent the video to uh, Sean Peck, another friend of mine, a singer right. friend from Cage, and uh, Denner Sherman, because we 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 bullshit about crazy stuff. He's, we, he he and I are into a lot of little weird porn. stuff. Excuse me? Porn. Well, oh, don't say that. I'm not into porn. <laughs> me? Not me. Well, 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 can you actually sleep with these dolls? Yes. I mean, if, I mean what's the, what, yes. what, what my thing is that? What's the reason? It, Dude, really? they, they have a vajayjay that gets warm. They have a vajayjay yeah, that... It, listen, I did the research, pal. <laughs> it squeezes on your pee-pee if you want. I mean, I'm sure it's adjustable. <laughs> pee-pee. Because, you know, right. if you're hung like me, like if you're, if you're hung like a pimple... You know, you, you, <laughs> you need some know, extra man. squeezing it, it, action, it, it, man. <laughs> you know? Well, is it, isn't it going to seem like sleeping with, like, C-3PO or something, man? Nah, like, you know, dude, come on. Really, really robotic. I'm curious, you know I mean? man. So much. I'm curious, man. <laughs> and, I mean, and how much are these things worth Ro- is Roach what is, I'm thinking. Roach is curious, too. Don't let him... Don't let him fool you. The road curious. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's bi curious. Roach is get two of them. <laughs> yeah. Roach is metrosexual. <laughs> yeah. More from that. So you, you, <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! So you could actually get get you could actually buy these things dresses and you Listen, could get them. But yeah, they made up and yeah, I guess you could play dude doll with them. They have they have all the different <laughs> you play doll. You, hey, Bobby knows everything. Wait, listen, <laughs> listen. Yeah, I, listen. I, I can tell you, I can tell you, re- you read up on. Oh this. man, he right away. As soon as I saw that, I was it. like, "This is the answer to my fucking dream, my problem <laughs> right here is solved." <laughs> Right? That's right. I never have to Bring hear. Bring it to your next show. I, hey, man, never show up at your next show, bro. I never have to hear a woman go, that's it? That's what you're working with? What are you going to do with that? What the fuck are you going to do with that thing? He's not going to have to worry about what the women laughing at him Jesus, anymore. That's right. My last right. girl, Eric, Eric, my last girlfriend says to me, right? Right. right. She goes, Bobby. She says, give me eight inches and hurt me. So I had to fuck her twice and hit her in the head with a rock. (laughs) (laughs) She's still got the bump on her head. (laughs) (laughs) No, but... Oh, God. Can't remember her name. (laughs) Jesus Christ. But if everything they have the body, you can pick different body sizes and styles and and, <laughs> and no, I'm being wow. absolutely serious. Now, Watch now, the now, video; now, it is can, amazing, dude. Now, it's now, amazing. Now, my thing is, can you can you can you pick like uh, movie actresses? Can you pick pick like what you know? You probably got to pay extra for you that. You you know what I mean? I mean they have like set different faces you can choose from and all of that. But I'm sure if you wanted it to look like. Uh, for example, my my girlfriend of, of my dream, Zoe Deschanel, you know, new girl, you know who she is? Right. I don't know if you know who she is, but you need to check her out. Right. She's amazing. Anyway, so I would make, wa- oh, make I, a- yeah, maybe. I would maybe like wow. that's That's who I would, you know, my template would be her. So, right, right. You know, it's just me. <laughs> but um, then there's the other degenerate part of me that wants it to be a. Uh, Barely legal, eighteen year old looking robot. <laughs> now, now, are they going to start making guys as well? They do. Not that I'm inquiring. They but I'm do. Just saying. They do. What? They do already. They make I'm guys sure. too. They in the video oh, they showed man. a they showed a man robot too. So I'm sure that you know women are like right away. Hmm. Bob was looking into that too. Yeah. All right. You got me. <laughs> Caught me. I want one with a He was looking for the jackhammer action. Foot long tool. <laughs> the jackhammer action. Nonstop all I'm, night. I'm, oh, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm looking to punish my brown starfish. Don't, don't wake me up before you go go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bobby was just singing that song before. Yeah, no, that was on in your house, pal. It really was. Remember? It was on it, yeah, that station on the TV. <laughs> This kid was doing homework, so he's stationed on TV. 
We're walking back into the room. We're finishing up this, the, the song that we were doing, and uh, we see. Wake me up before you go, go. Bobby started dancing and prancing. And Roach. <laughs> And Roach came yeah, up yeah, behind yeah. me, you know, tried grabbing me. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah with, with with the choose choose life shirt. Yeah, and, choose life. <laughs> choose life. <laughs> well, Roach, is, Roach is says choose cock. <laughs> it's like oh, wow. the got milk commercial. <laughs> the <Man>. got milk. <laughs> <laughs> got cock. Got, 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 got cock. <laughs> but that ain't milk under his nose, though. <laughs> hey, man, your nose is dripping, bro. <laughs> hey, you got some white stuff there over there. Your white mustache. Stuff on your nose. Holy shit. Oh, Lord. You're fucking killing me. <laughs> oh, my God. Help me. Man, that ain't right. No, oh, it's not. It's not right at all. It's not right. <laughs> but this is us. <laughs> yeah. But it's that you guys. Not, not your ordinary oh, metal man. show. Definitely not your ordinary metal show here. So but what's going on with Attacker, man? Tell me, tell me a little bit about uh, Attacker. Well, we, we're actually, uh, this, in case anybody didn't notice, I think that we may have mentioned it on uh, Facebook. If not, you're hearing it now for the first time on the Metal Bullion and Road Show. We are going to be doing an EP soon. Working on new yeah. music. We're going to put out a little EP in oh. between albums. Wow. Uh, a Wait, night. an EP? You guys are doing an EP? Yeah, an EP, like four songs. and um, Right, right. We already have a lot of the music is already written. Um, it's going to be wow, a nice okay. way to introduce our uh, new addition to the band, John Hasselbrink, my uh, old Morbid Sing guitar oh, player. Sweet. You met John. John. Awesome. Motley. Yeah, yeah his yeah. nickname is Motley, actually. It's nothing yeah. to do with Motley Crue either. Yeah, really actually. cool guy. He was telling us about that. I didn't know that it had nothing to do with Motley Crue. I n- never thought that it, that it did. I did. I, what the hell the fuck you ever hear Motley? Or is it, they're a Motley Crue. <laughs> Motley. Motley Crue is the only fucking Motley I know, pal. Motley. <laughs> hey, Bobby, you were also doing that, uh, that that Judas Priest thing, man. I saw that, too. Oh, the, uh, you mean the tribute? The, uh, tribute, the tribute. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah the that was pretty good, man. Denim and leather... Um, when are we playing again? Yeah. Oh, it's right. We're we're auditioning guitar players right now. We're actually narrowed it down to two uh, two candidates, and we do oh, okay. we oh, do cool. um all good shit, man. All new wave of British heavy metal, Priest, Maiden, That's Saxon, cool. Sabbath with Dio. Saxon, yeah. We do Dio. We do American metal too, of course. Um. Oh, okay. Good shit, okay, man. Cool. I mean, we're doing Michael that's, Shanker that's group stuff, now. Man. Good stuff, man. You lo- you would love it, man. Yeah. It's the soundtrack of our lives. Info? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, we do uh, Dr. Doctor, as a matter of fact. We do. Oh, Dr. Yeah, cool too, man. Yeah. Rock Bottom would be good for you guys. Oh, I love that song too, man. I love UFO. It's good yeah. shit, song, man. Great song. Yes, indeed. Yes, yeah. indeed, man. Okay, Eric, man. Eric, what do you listen to yeah, nowadays? Sir. What do you listen to nowadays? Me- uh, besides George Michael. Of, yeah, besides George besides Michael. Besides George uh, Michael. I listen to a lot of Culture Club and a lot of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Frankie goes to Hollywood. You gotta get, yeah. yeah, Frankie goes to Hollywood. You know, you got to get that karma chameleon going. Man. No, I listen, to, I listen to a lot, man. I listen to a lot of, like, uh, I don't know, like, just anything and everything, man. I, I listen to... I don't know. I listen to a lot of uh, like Opeth and uh, oh, Mikey B loves of, you. Like, My guitar player loves. Yeah, guys. Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got along. Yeah, we got along with that. I, I remember at Greece. He saw my shirt and he was like Opeth. I go, yeah. And so that that became a big thing between him and I. Yeah, he loves those guys. Nothing, but you why know, not? The thing about the shirt. Yeah, nothing right. wrong with being huh? gay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I fully support LGBTQRSTUMP uh, and everything else. Right. We're going to add another letter. No, no, no. I, so do I, man. I, I don't mind. Against, yeah, ball that. But he yeah, gets so defensive. Well, you know. well, listen, <laughs> but, you uh, don't know I might be gay, Roach. That's what I've told many people. I, I was getting slammed. Uh, you know, people were calling me. <laughs> <getting slammed>. yeah, <laughs> I just let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> I was getting slammed. <laughs> oh, I gotta learn to choose hey, my fucking about, words better. Yeah, I heard about that, man. Oh man, <laughs> I think there's a video on the internet somewhere. Oh, 
Yeah, but you wouldn't recognize yeah, you me because I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> yeah, you, you, got, you got a lot of haters, man. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know, I had, I had uh, a couple of the college college metal heads that were uh, taking screenshots and oh, going, yeah. "He's a he's a he's a homophobe and this and that and blah blah blah." You know, you don't know me, pal. Really? You don't know me, pal. Okay, I I could take right, right, right. I, I could be smoking pole every night for all you know. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Yeah, really? on a pole every night. <laughs> unless, unless I yeah. come out and say it, and I come out, I want, I'm ready to come out of the closet. I will. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand the way that these, these guys think these days. You know, it, it's just uh, it's changed so much from from when we were growing up and our, exactly. you know, our yeah, time yeah. frame. Everybody just blasted in the head nowadays, man. Yeah, they don't understand, man. It's different. All offended. I I need a safe Mm. space. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Complainers is what they are. They're all complainers. Cry babies. Complain about every single thing. You know, let it go. Cry babies. All sports kids. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Nothing else to do. And, you know, know, and that's another thing about these protesters. Where do they get all the time in the world to stand out there and protest? Yeah. I got to be at work. I don't know about yeah. these people, but <laughs> know. you know, everybody's like out there. Well, their mommy know. and daddies are paying their fucking tuition, so. Well, there you go. You yeah. know, they don't know what the real yeah. fucking world is, but they don't even know what the fuck communism is. Uh, you know, I was watching a video recently yeah. on YouTube, and they're walking around with hammer and sickles and fucking red scarves and this and that, and they're you know blatantly supporting communism. Yeah. You know, you want to be a communist. Go fucking move the fuck out of the United States because you little get prick. out of here. Yeah, you know? exactly. I mean, exactly. please. That's like this fucking asshole Celine Dion now talking shit about America. I can't even look at the American flag anymore. Yeah, shut up, bitch. Get the fuck out. Oh, wow, get out, Lord. Yeah, get out. Madonna I, just, I just fucking left. Madonna moved to Portugal. Go fucking follow her. Oh, thank you. You know, thank you. Thank you. I was God. glad. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, Meryl Streep should be next. She needs to leave the country as well. They all need to shut the fuck up. George Clooney, too, talking shit. That fucking guy. How are you going to tell me? First of all, how can you take the worst Batman in movie history serious about anything? Right? The worst Batman. The guy had nipples in the Batman movie, for Christ's sake. He did. Didn't they have nipples in that one? Or is that the one he had the nipples in? I, I don't know. It was. Yeah. I never well, noticed. Because he was a. Oh. Yeah, because he's a tough guy. <laughs> okay, hey, man. Batman rules, bro. Batman maybe, is my maybe favorite. Maybe it was superhero. cold out. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe. It was. It was in New York, so maybe. But uh. But it would be Bobby to notice the nipples. Not a man. <laughs> it's hard. Hey, listen, it's hard to it's hard to not notice that all of a sudden your favorite superhero has grown fucking nipples. Right. Okay. That, uh, has nipples right? on the suit on the suit come on man. on the suit built-in nipples right? right it's not fucking right it's not right yeah it's wrong well he didn't have superpowers so maybe that was something i don't know Super so, nip- so he made is that it was Super that a nipples. big deal or somewhere what did he make a big deal of that or what Clooney? what was his thing on it on what yeah, the, the, the nipples uh i don't think yeah, i was, don't think anybody liked the fucking nipples except for joel schumacher but uh, the director and Joel Schumacher's a, yeah. he's a little you know happy himself. <laughs> so. He's a happy person. Yeah, he's happy. He's a happy camper, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's very a little too happy. He ruined that fucking yeah. franchise, man. That's why they had to start all over again. And I'm yeah. glad they did because uh, Christian Bale is awesome. That's fucking bad, man. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you follow those I comic book things? Think- uh, a little bit, I you know I I know a bit about some of them, right. not not the whole you know. Yeah, you're like from me. what I've seen. Yeah, okay, yeah. guys. Now it's time to start uh, making fun of Bob because he likes superhero movies. Okay, nerd. and Godzilla and <laughs> no. video games. Go ahead, come on, no, 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 man, Roach. Come on, Roach. Good, dude. I'm ready, Roach. You, you go, do you... <laughs> I'm an easy target. So, so big one too. Hey, Bobby, so you, uh-huh. you, you, you go to Comic Con and all that, or? He's body shaming me now, Eric. Did you hear him? I told body him shaming me I, again. He's I, body shaming me again. I said he's a big target. He said really big <laughs> target. Listen, pal. All right, really big. This is my safe space, okay? Oh, man. This is my safe space. You do not encroach upon my safe space. All right, buddy? There you go. Tough guy? <laughs> 
terrible now. Oh, man. man. Not nice to make fun of fat people, okay? Yeah, so, you know, Eric, I just want to say thank you so much for coming on with us. Eric John Clara, ladies and gentlemen, from yes, the band thank Thrust. You. Thank I want to say you. Thank, thank you so yeah. much. Well, thank, thank you for having me on the show, guys. I really appreciate this. It was our pleasure, brother. Thank you, Vino. It was All our right. pleasure. It was great. A lot of fun. And we will yeah. stay in uh, touch, and hey, we'll see you in April, yeah. my friend. We will, I will definitely see you guys, for sure. Yeah, we'll be there, brother, with bells on. Can't wait. Roach will have, yeah. ball, Roach will have balls on, <laughs> but I'll have bells on. Okay? He'll have bells on exactly. his balls. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fucking Roach. Uh, oh, right, boy. Man. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Hey, man. God thank bless you, man. Eric. Say hello to the guys for us, bro. I will. I will. All right. All right. All right. Good night, man. All right. Bye-bye. Fucking brutal. Brutal. Pure fucking brutal. Fucking brutality. The one and only masters of German thrash metal. Yes. Absolutely. Destruction. Absolutely. From the Day of Reckoning album, Hate is My Fuel. And that's dedicated to Antifa, you fucks. Because you guys just suck. You fucking pricks. Hate them. I fucking hate them. Anyway, speaking of, uh, speaking of pricks, where the fuck is my uncle, man? I don't know. You know he, that he, motherfucker, he was supposed to be here already. Yeah, I, I'm trying to do him a favor. Trying to do his, you know, this fucking help him out, promote his band, his band, Manspread. <laughs> yeah, Manspread. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking guy doesn't even have a demo yet, but he wants me to let him come do spoken word. What's I, he, like 65 fucking 60, years old? Yeah, he's 65, he thinks he could do metal. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> but he, he was, yeah, he should have been here already. If he doesn't get here soon, fuck him then. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Right or wrong? Right. I don't know. Whatever. It, 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 either way, I don't give a fucking shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think it's him. I think he's here. Hey, what's going on, you fucking pricks? Oh, boy. It's him. Yeah, who all which nigga is the fucking the king of England? No, well, you figured it was you, fucking Uncle Lou. Yeah, well, you know. And where's my tomato pie at? Well, I told you I ain't getting no fucking pizza. Because every time I fucking get pizza, you're supposed to chip in and you don't fucking chip in. Yeah, you fat bastard. Hey, go fuck yourself, pal. Hey, Roach, did I ask you? Wait, right? don't, don't get loud with the fucking Roach, man. Yeah, I mean... Hey, if I want any shit out of him, I'll squeeze his fucking head. Oh, that's, that's so fucking old, Uncle Lou. Really. You Uncle know, I try to do you a favor. This is how you're going to act? Uncle Lou, you're a big fat fuck. Hey. Listen, pal. Don't don't get like that, all right? Don't get like that. He's my co-host. He might be an insubordinate, but he's my co-host. That's right. He's my insubordinate co-host. I don't give a fuck who he's. Give me a fucking microphone already. Give me a fucking mic. Yeah. Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Uncle Louie. Uncle Louie's in the house. Uncle Louie Simone, the one and the only. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to tell you. Uh, the reason I'm here, I got a band. Yeah, and uh, it's a heavy metal band. And I'm going to tell you. Is it a heavy metal band? It's a heavy metal band. Nobody can do heavy metal like Uncle Lou. Oh, really? Now, you notice how I rhymed that? Nobody can do metal like Uncle Lou. Ha! <laughs> so, <laughs> you are so awesome, Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou, you're a fucking asshole. Hey, go fuck yourself, pal. <laughs> All right? Go fuck yourself. Anyway, so I got a band together. We're called Manspread. Right? We got an EP coming out soon. It's called Spread It Like a Man. Right? Spread it like my asshole. No, spread it like a man, pal. <laughs> and I'm going to do a little spoken word for you guys real All quick. All right. As a little sneak preview... Of what you got coming up to you guys soon. And uh, the name of the song that I'm going to do the spoken word is called Queefing for Papa. Now, here we Queefing go. Queefing for Papa, huh? Queefing for Papa. Wow. 
Lyrics by yours truly, Louis Simone. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, you fat fuck. Been working all day, and now I want some relief. Gonna have my best girl rip a nice big queef. <laughs> Sit on my face, I'll eat my way to your heart. Cause there's nothing in the world like a sweet pussy fart. <laughs> By the time I get home, I'll be swimming in the pink. Don't you dare wash it, bitch. Let that clam stink. <laughs> Gonna blow some hot air up your tight pussy hole. Watching those lips quiver never gets old. Oh, God. <laughs> you, you'll be queefing, queefing for Papa. Once we start, baby, you just can't stop her. Cause you queef. <laughs> We for Papa. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I want some Quim, bitch. Give me every last dropa. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Going on in that? <laughs> Can Uncle Lou even go? <laughs> Going on an hour, and I still didn't come. Squeeze another breeze from your chewed bubble gum. It's pink and it's hot. It's shaved and it's sweet. All I want to do is munch and kiss your fishy treat. It sounds, like, it queef- sounds like the night before Christmas. You'll be <laughs> queefing, queefing for Papa. Once we start, baby, you just can't stop her. Because you're queefing, queefing for Papa. I want some Quim, bitch. Give me every last dropper. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate oh it. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Fucking microphone. You sick <laughs> old bastard, you. Hey, go fuck yourself. Right? You wish you had lyrics like me. No, I don't wish I had lyrics like that, dude. Wow. I do not. Wow. Oh, my God. There's something fucking wrong with you, Uncle Lou. Really. Hey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> You're going to get me less ratings on the show with fucking lyrics like that. Just now get the fuck out of here now, will you? Wow. Holy crap. Go oh, fuck yourselves. Hey, stick it up your ass. Go, go get the fucking, go get a pizza, will you? Get the fuck out of here. Put pepperoni on it. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I really, really am sorry. I fucking apologize that, uh, you know, there's something really wrong with my uncle. My uncle comes from a different time, from a different <laughs> a different place. A different zone, you know. Oh, I don't even know where the hell that came from. Yeah, I can't. I can you imagine that set to fucking music? I, I, <laughs> I, I can't. I can we, with that voice and set to music, please. I don't even want to go there. Oh, it's coming. Terrible, terrible. Oh, anyway, uh, we're gonna send this one next next one out here uh, <laughs> to uh, Chip Chuckles. This Chip one's Chuckles. for you. You still in the Chip chat, Chuckles. Chip? Yeah, he's in there. Yeah, the fire alarm. I know, pal. All right, tough guy. Can you hear that? You hear that, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, with my luck. I'll change it and I'll get shocked. So you just have to wait till the next fucking show. All right, tough guy. All right, Chip. Anyway, this is for you, Chip. Your girl, Wahida. Oh. Walter oh, no. McRib. This is Wahida. Metal Radio. Hang up on me. All right, I can only take the most recent experience um, that you had. Well, most recent experience was yesterday. I went down there, right, on New Brunswick Avenue in Perth Amboy, okay? And I, I was, I was, I don't know. You know, it's upsetting because my favorite, my favorite fa- sandwich there was the Mac Rib, okay? Mm-hmm. Now they don't have the Mac Rib no more, but they got this damn. Uh, you can have breakfast any time of the day now, right? Mm-hmm. Why you gonna go and get rid of my favorite sandwich? Not just my favorite sandwich, my family favorite sandwich. My whole, I mean, we used to have barbecues in the summertime, and we would go and buy twenty five Mac Rib. Okay. 
and we would have the Mac Rib. Everybody would be so excited and so happy to have it. And now you ain't got it. Why don't you have it? I do apologize that this has happened, um, and it is actually a um, seasonal type of thing, um, and it does also depend on um, your local McDonald's because 90% of our franchises are uh, individually owned and is an owner-operator decision. Why it got to be um, seasonal? Uh, what I can do is I can go ahead and take down all the information and forward it over to the ours organization and put it in our Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I, do you know anything about where I'm, I live in Perth Amboy? I'm sorry? I live in Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Okay. Okay, the majority of my town is Latino. Okay. Okay. You going to, Is that why they don't have the Mac Rib? Because that's racist. That Ma'am, is I did not racist. Say that. That's racist. If you, if you is trying to imply that, or McDonald's is trying to say ain't enough black people for them to have the McRib all the time, that's wrong. That shit ain't right. You heard? I heard you. I completely understand, and ma'am, that is not what I was saying at all. I did not say that. What I you trying to say? To you. What is what? you trying to say? I am the customer care center, and what I do is I take down your feedback, and I go ahead and forward the information over to the owner's organization. And if you want a request for a follow-back, um, they will contact you back make about a, the information. Well, hold up, hold up, Alexis. I want to make a request that y'all motherfuckers put the Mac Rib on the menu 24-7. Ma'am, I'm sorry. Um, and it, it isn't and possible to help while we, that wait, if it while we channel, add it, you could add some Fanta grape soda on that motherfucker, too. Ma'am, that language isn't necessary, and if it continues, I will disconnect the call. What, you gonna hang up on me? Now you threatening to hang up on a nigga, yo? That shit ain't right. You heard? Hello? I'm sorry, but I am gonna have to disconnect the call because of the language. You gonna disconnect me? Okay. I'm gonna disconnect your nose from your face, bitch. We apologize for your dissatisfaction with your call today. After the tone, please briefly let us know oh, the reason go. for your dissatisfaction with our representative. When you are finished, please press the pound key to stop recording. Yeah, you know, I spoke with a girl named Alexis, and that bitch was racist. Racist telling me that they don't have the Mac rib in my motherfucking McDonald's. Because there ain't enough black people in my town. That's what she told me. And I asked her, how come y'all don't have grape soda? And she basically told me, fuck you, black bitch. That's, that's just wrong. I know that Ronald, Ronald McDonald would never speak to a bitch like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come down there. I'm going to bust you upside your head, motherfuckers. Peace. We appreciate your feedback, as we are always striving to better serve you. Thanks again for calling McDonald's. This is Alan Johnson from Exciter, and you're listening to The Metal Bully and The Roach on Metal Messiah Radio. You know, because they really started to suck after uh, that album. Theater of Pain. Theater of Pain sucks. There's like three good songs on it that sound like cool. Sorry, Ed. Ruiz. Oh I know yeah, you love, I know you love. Well, Ed Ruiz is not listening in the uh, chat, or or well, hopefully he's not listening. Ed, Ed, man, we love you anyway, bro. Ed Ruiz is in a killer Motley Crue tribute band with a female crucified. What? That's the name of this band, Crucified. That's a Motley Crue tribute. Yeah. Why the fuck would they call themselves Crucified? Because they're crucified. That's douche. Oh. They need to come up with a fucking Motley Crue type name. Oh, what? Like, uh... Like Theater of Pain. No, that's stupid. Yeah. Right? Stupid. Shout at the devil. It's stupid. You're fucking stupid, pal. No. Yeah. I think you are. You're so fucking <laughs> drunk right now. You don't know. You wouldn't know fucking if I slapped you with my cock right now, pal. Uh, Both inches. 
I would know because you got nothing there. Yeah. You could tell it's towards the end of the show, guys, because uh, <laughs> Roach is fucking hammered. You know? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And Bobby's getting it in the ass. <laughs> Puckered starfish. Anyway. Puckered starfish. Yeah. The brown starfish. Yeah. Anyway, listen. We Obviously, are that's the coming of the night. up to. What do, you, what do you mean coming? That part of the show. What do you mean coming? The most coveted part of our show. Ready, guys, for what? yay or gay. Thank you, Roach. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. It's about freaking time. I was just staring at your ass, so... Yay or gay. We have a band here for you guys. We need everybody in the chat to help us judge. Is it yay or is it gay? If you like it, say yay. If you don't like it, say gay. But you have to be on the chat to vote. Me? I, you know, Robin wants to know what we're drinking. Me? I just drink vodka, Robin. I do a shot here and there. He just drinks vodka. This this Klondike. <laughs> what are you talking about? This Klondike over here next to me drinks those gigantic like fifty ounce beers. You know, they're like the size of the uh, space shuttle, each one. And he drinks about twelve of them during the show. He's hammered. I don't know. In any case, um. Yeah. In any case, um. Yeah, no, yeah. no, fucking, yeah, uh, yeah, Cousin Louie and yeah. this one with the hairy ass. Yeah. Anyway. It's not that enjoyable. You guys ready? We're going to do this right now. We have a band up right now. Yay or gay. Give them a vote, people. Check it out. You have to be on chat to vote. If you like it, it's yay. If you don't like it, it's gay. Souls, Souls of, of Rebellion. rebellion. Don't trust your eyes. MetalMessiahRadio.com I'm my way to a distant land Earth's three powers are in command Good and evil are now well defined
Roach. Red Bank Veterinarian Hospital, Hillsboro. Margie speaking. How may I help you? Yes. Hi. Your name is. You say your name is Margie. Yeah, my Hello. name is Margie. How can hi. I help you? Sweetie, ah, uh, I got a bit of a problem here. What's that? Kind of an emergency. I, I need somebody to see me right away. You need to come in right away. Uh, I need. I, uh, first of all, I got to get a couple things straight with you before I come there. All right. Okay. I have. Uh, it's not your ordinary situation. Okay. And I have to make sure that I protect myself a little bit. Right? You understand? Hello? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Why oh, you got me on a speakerphone? Now you, you, you're trying to get me in trouble with somebody. What? No, you said you had to talk to me. I'm trying to oh, I got, out. Yeah, I got, a, I got a problem, sweetheart. Margie. I, I got some... Uh, Hey, do you do you have it deals yes, with sir. it deals with animals, right? Okay, I don't know what your limit is on animals. I don't know if you do with small animals. Do you? Uh, small animals? Yeah. Well, no, we don't do it. We don't do exotics. Ow! Ouch! Ow! I'm sorry. It's not exotic, exactly. What kind of an animal is it? Oh, you gonna well, sir, please don't judge me. Oh, just don't judge me. I, no, I, I'm not going to go to a regular hospital. You understand? I won't do it. If you guys can't help me, I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm an animal lover. I love animals. What did you want us to do, sir? Maybe a little too much, but I love them. You understand? I I can't hear you. I can't understand. Uh, what did you want? Ow! Did you, ow! Uh, Listen, what, what, this what little kind of bastard! I gotta get him out of here. I gotta get him out. Uh, you need to call animal Listen, control. Listen, I I you can't control this situation, sweetheart. I gotta come get this thing out. I gotta. Uh, I got it. I I know. Listen, sir, sir, I'm gonna we tell you. We uh, I'm gonna level with you. I got a gerbil in my ass right now. He's trying. The little fella's still wriggling around. I want to get him out while he's still alive. Understand me? What kind of animal is it? A gerbil. I put it in a ha habit trail tube in my ass with my boyfriend in it. Don't judge. Don't judge. But he, now he, I can't get him out. Usually I could get him out. And usually they're still alive, little fuckers. They jiggle, wiggle, and jiggle, and wiggle around. Well, I don't need nobody calling in WAAACP on me and get me in trouble. You know what I mean? Can you help me if I come? No, we don't have any way of getting out to you. We don't have that kind of service. Jesus Christ, I'll get my boyfriend to drive me. I gotta get this thing out of my ass before he dies. The little guy's so... Oh, we, do, we, don't, we don't treat animals like that. Maybe Animerge does, that, uh, those tiny ones. We don't do that. Oh, Jesus Christ, what am I gonna do? I don't want him to die in there. Now I'm not gonna get him out. I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. I'm mean, gonna w a a a a g g p I, mean, uh, I, I am. I am sorry, I but uh, we don't have any kind of service to come out to you. Uh, I come to uh, you. You don't... take me. I come to you. I come. I come to you. You take him out, please. Four steps, uh, tweezers. I don't, don't give a fuck what it is. Just get him out of my ass. We, uh, we don't have anyone available to go to your is home. He's chewing sorry. my brown starfish all up. I don't need that. You could you could try calling the police department. Oh uh, yeah, control. and then I'm gonna go away, and they're gonna put me away. They're gonna take him out. He's gonna be dead by then, and then I'm gonna go away. And then I'm gonna big Bubba and and all uh, Leroy and all them gonna they're gonna wanna hurt me, right? Yeah. What uh, am I gonna do? Sir, you could you could try calling animal control. <laughs> oh, I thought you guys was gonna get out of me. Cause they might, they'll be able to come to your house maybe and take care and oh, get my, them out. My ass. 
I we can't. I don't feel him no more. He's not twiggling around no more. I think he's I am, dead now, my little buddy. I am so sorry. Uh, my little buddy, we, my little pal, my little furry little guy. What am I going to do now? I got to go to the hospital. Now I'm going to go to jail now. I'm so sorry. Yeah, um, you're sorry. You don't have that turbo in your ass. You don't have a... Uh, what am I going to do uh, now? I, I, uh, well, um, I, I really don't know. Nobody ever to talks burn. about the burn. It burns. All right, you guys. I got to go find somebody to help me. Goodbye. <laughs> From the Highway to Hell album. Yes. So, yeah, Roach, let's thank everybody for sticking around with us till the end of the show. Yeah, thanks to everybody. I want to thank you guys in the chat. Teresa, La Mancha, Robin, of course. Mad Brad. Katie. Two yeah. Katie's. Why is there two Katie's in there? Jeff Shiner. Guest who should be our friend Eric Claro, I think, is the guest, right? Yeah, Eric Claro. FJ Alan Johnson. Alan Johnson from Exciter. And of course, Robin Rocks. Well, we oh. want to thank you all. She very always much. rocks. Robin does always rock. She rocks, all right. So, yeah, man. Come back next week, guys. We got another great show lined up for you. Next week, our guest is none other than Jarvis Leatherby from Night Demon. Yes. Next week. And, it's going to uh, be awesome. Going to be killer. Going to be killer. So, yeah, uh, we got a uh, GoFundMe that we had going for uh, new equipment because we're using some pretty shitty uh, equipment over here. But uh, hopefully you guys can help us. Uh, but right now, it's kind of on hold because of the uh, storms, storms and the hurricanes, and uh, the people need more help than us right now with the floods and the hurricanes. But uh, maybe in a couple weeks, we'll uh, start posting about it again and try to get this off the ground. But uh, once again, thanks, everybody. And we're going to leave you tonight with this very special song, Metal Bully and the Roach.